I get a lot of queries on different forums saying I just installed Elementor or Elementor add-ons and my site broke. The Elementor editor isn't working. Only when the add-on is disabled, I can edit the page. Is it that the Elementor or its add-ons are not compatible with other plugins? In this video, we will see all the possible reasons which can cause the Elementor page builder either not to load at all or load slowly and we will also see the solutions to it. So let us start. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillbuild.com and in this video, we are looking at the page loading issue when we use Elementor or its add-ons. The issue occurs not only with Elementor or its add-ons, but with any other plugin. Usually, the issue is caused by unavailability of required space for the plugin. Every plugin has a specific space requirement to function normally. With Elementor or its add-ons, to create a page or functionality on the page, the website need to load the respective widgets and elements. So as you see on the screen, the issue is the widgets and elements are indefinitely loading on the page. Sometimes you also get a notification to enable safe mode to edit the page. To check the memory limit for your website, you can go to the dashboard and from the Elementors tab, go to the system info. Here you can find the most important information about your website, the version of PHP on which your website is running and also the maximum upload size and the memory limit given by your host. Most of the issues are resolved by increasing the PHP memory limit. Every host sets a memory limit for its customer. Based on the type of plan you have, the memory limit can vary. Usually the memory limit is set to a minimum 8 MB or 40 MB for few host providers. So if your hosting company has set the memory limit to very low like 8 MB or 40 MB, you can easily increase the memory limit by two methods. The first one is using a small code in the wp-config.php file which is found on the cPanel. So let us go to the cPanel and find the file manager. So in the file manager, you will see public HTML folder. And if you open that, you will see a file named wp-config.php. So just click and go to edit file. And under this, you need to find a line which says either that's all stop editing happy publishing or it might say that's all stop editing happy blogging. So after this line, you just need to enter a small code and I will give this code in the description as well. So the code says define a bracket inverted commas wp underscore memory underscore limit and here you can either enter 64 mb or it can be 128 or maximum 
256. I haven't seen any plugin requiring more space than 256 MB. So if you now save this, the memory limit for your website will be increased to 256 MB. Sometimes if you do not have the cPanel access or you are using hosting provider which do not provide the cPanel, you can use the second method which is using a plugin to increase the memory limit. So hover over to the plugins and go to add new. And here you can search for the file manager so the file manager gives you the access to the wp-config.php so if i install this now and activate it i will get a tab named as the file manager and now if I go to the WP file manager, I'm getting this welcome message. So I will say no thanks. And here you will see exactly the same cPanel things. And you can easily find out the wp-config.php and you can place the code over here. So the second thing is uh, there is another plugin named WP increase file size and this plugin gives you a direct way to increase the memory limit up to 512 MB. So I have just installed the plugin and if I activate it now and go to the plugin settings so this is the WP maximum upload file size. And if I click on the settings button, I can easily choose the maximum upload file size from the drop down. So I can change it to maybe 128, 256, 512 or up to 1 GB as well. So this one is the WP maximum upload file size plugin which can enable you to increase the memory size for your website. If the issue is still not resolved, you can contact your hosting provider and place a request for a memory size increase or upgrade the plan to have larger memory size. Also, you can check the PHP version too as the older versions of PHP might cause elements not loading issue. If your issue is still not resolved by increasing the memory limit, you can also check few more things. The first thing is to change the front end editor loading method. This is particularly helpful in solving some shared hosting issues. So to change the editor loading method, let us go to the element settings. And go to advanced and you'll see the switch editor loader method. So you just need to enable this and save the changes. So as I mentioned, this is particularly helpful in solving some shared hosting issues. The next thing that you need to check is to disable the unused plugins on your website. So while creating a website, you might install a lot of plugins which are not useful in later phase of your website. So you just need to disable these plugins because the plugins occupy the space on the memory and the memory is not available for the Elementor and its add-on to function normally. The next thing you can do if you're using Elementor add-ons like the Essential add-ons or the Premium add-ons for Elementor or Crocoblock, you need to disable 
the unwanted elements and widgets from this plugin. So if you click on the premium add-ons setting or the essential add-ons setting, you will see that you have an option to disable the widgets and elements which are not useful for you. So for example, I have just disabled the video box which is not useful. I have disabled the countdown timer. Also for the essential add-ons, if I go to elements, I will find a lot of things which I am not using on my website. So if I can disable all these widgets and elements, my page builder will load faster. Likewise, if I go to Coco Block settings and go to the Jet Plugin settings now, if I click on the widgets and extensions, I can disable the widgets and extensions which I am not using on this particular website. So if I just disable the horizontal timeline, inline SVG, I can save a lot of loading time for my website. Also under the general settings, CrocoBlock gives me the editor load level. So from here, I can control if I need all or very few resources on my website by selecting low, medium, advanced or full load level for the CrocoBlock plugins. Deactivating or disabling the unused widgets and elements will reduce the resource uses and thus fix the loading error. The last thing that you need to check is the WordPress and the site address on your website. So go to the settings and hit the general button. Here you need to check if the WordPress address and the site address are identical and correctly entered on these settings. That is all in this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope it was useful and informative for you to work with Elementor smoothly. If you still have any questions regarding this issue, please do not hesitate to comment in the comment box below. Or you can also contact me via email at prakash at Thank you so much and take care.